What's up people, Manor here, coming to you with a video. This time we are going to be talking about how to make Kale Chene in a Ninja Furi or in an Instapot. The first thing that you must do is take some black chene and black chene is nothing but chickpeas that look like this. They are darker in color, they are much more hard. They are Kala Chene or Desi chickpeas. While the regular chene or regular chickpeas are like this, the kala chanas are darker in color, a little bit harder, a little bit smaller, but they're equally delicious and very healthy for you. So to get the process started, the first thing that you do need to do, soak the kala chene in water. You take the dark chickpeas, you cover them till water a little bit higher than the amount. So if you do finger test, uh, if the dry chenes are till here, put the water till a little bit higher than the first break of your finger. That way they are covered with water and soak them overnight if you can. If you don't, if you don't have time to soak them overnight, at least soak them for six hours because again, they are really hard, harder than the regular white chene. And you don't need to add any salt or baking soda or anything, just water and put the chanas in. You will know when they are ready to be put in an Instapot or a Ninja Furi, when you can press them with a little bit of force you can just break them like this. That's when you know it's going to be ready. Drain the water, make sure to rinse them out and in goes the chene. And again, this is just one and a half cup of chene that were soaked for four hours and you want to put water on them and cover them. And I've added about two and a half cups of water in it. And now we need to add just salt. You don't need to add any other spices, just two spoons of salt we will turn on we will turn on the ninja foodi and we'll set it to pressure make sure the vent lid is not at vent but it is a seal and the reason why i'm making this video is because there was no guidelines available on how to make kale chene and some of the videos that i saw on youtube about how to make kale chene the chene was kacha here who makes kache chene we don't eat that that's going to give you a belly ache don't do that follow this advice this is going to help you Put the pressure cookie thingy on, match the arrows, turn, you'll hear the click and the timer on the high we want to set it, believe it or not, is going to be for 60 minutes, 6-0. Yes people, you heard it right. And to make sure the college chenes are done proper, we're going to set it for one hour, one whole hour. It seems like a lot, but it's not. On a pressure cooker or an electric pressure cooker or whatever, or on Ninja Foodi or Instapot, it will take that long because these are very rock hard chene. So put it on pressure, make sure the seal is closed, make sure it's nice and secure and push the button. It's going to pressurize and once it's done, we're going to release the valve instantly and let out the steam. All right, so we are approaching the end of the 60 minutes that I had put the Kale chene or the dark chickpeas in. Once that is done, we are going to perform a quick release of the valve and then we can take a look how they look like. And at that point, we can see if they are well done or if they need a little bit more time. Or in Punjabi, as you will say, agar usme koi kasar rai gai hai, or thodi ji kasar rai gai hai. we can find that out. All right, it has done. It has got the done symbol, of course. Now it's going to warm up. We don't need to worry about the warm-up part. We're going to release it. And what I will highly recommend is pick up one of these silicone nozzle thing. I will leave the product link in the description below. Take a look at it. It's definitely worth it. This is not a sponsored video. So I bought it. I use it because my cabinets are pretty low. I don't want them to get warped. So just put it on top and rotate. And in cold weather, you can even warm up your hands. And the way that you will know that uh, the Ninja Foodi has done venting all the steam, this steel valve is going to drop. Once that happens, very carefully, this can be hot. I cook a lot, my hands are tough. Just pick that up, put that onto a side, and then rotate this arrow to the open position. And always, never lift it up straight through because the steam is going to come in. Lift it at a tilt angle and let the water drain through like so and now using a wooden ladle or a silicone ladle just rotate it and yeah there is a little bit of uh, dark stuff that does come out 
that is from the chennai itself that is normal that is expected and to test to see if the chennai is did galofi or did become al dente or tender pick it up with a spoon like one chana with a spoon and then just squash it and instantly it breaks so we know this is done this is perfect because we added salt already when you're making the tadka please keep that in mind and again you can squash it down a little bit there are there is barely any resistance so they are holding up pretty well go ahead and prepare your wet ingredients with an exception of tomatoes which i don't have uh, cut just yet i did chop onions and you want them to be finely uh, chopped that way they do uh, disintegrate pretty quickly because we are going to be making it into a gravy that the chickpeas are going to go in i also took about 4 cloves or 5 cloves of garlic uh, and about 1 inch of ginger along with 3 or 4 thai chili peppers that are diced uh, finely again all these ingredients are up to your liking up to your taste if you can't handle too many of them don't push too much we got our kadahi uh, or a wok add a little bit of oil i'm using uh, olive oil over here and i'm also going to add a little bit of uh, cooking oil vegetable oil that way it doesn't smoke up swirl that around that way the sides don't stick i got my tadka dani or the namak dani ready and i'm going to be basically you can pick this up from the indian store extremely handy i'm going to be putting in a small spoon of mustard seeds yes these are whole mustard seeds and they will start popping we're also going to put in cumin and as soon as you start hearing the popping sound that's when you toss in the bay leaf now that that's done now we add the onions always add a bit from yourself and this might look quite a bit but the onions are going to cook and reduce so just shake them up leave it on high heat and leave it open because we want the water to evaporate while this is going i'm going to be uh, dicing the tomatoes a few minutes have elapsed i'm going to mix it up some of the onions have started to become golden brown i'm going to move them aside a little bit as you can see they have literally uh, reduced uh, quite a bit now i'm going to be putting in uh, badi elaichi if you don't have badi elaichi uh, it's available at the indian store uh, just break it apart just toss it in and also dry red chilies don't worry they're not going to burn so as soon as we toss it in we're going to mix them up and this is what my personal technique is i move uh, the onions to the back move the kadahi or the wok to the back that way i have a little bit of oil and in this empty space i will toss in the ginger first ginger is a little bit more wholesome uh, vegetable or wholesome root in goes the ginger along with the green chili and we just want the oils uh, to get released we just want to start smelling ginger and the green chilies uh, aroma as soon as that happens that means the ginger has started to cook we're going to push that back once again and you're right in goes the garlic and similar to before we're going to wait for the garlic to start releasing its uh, aroma and its flavor Don't worry it looks chunky but it's going to be fine. Uh, at this point I've also cut the heat down to low because now we want to slowly cook them. If the oil is less at this point you can add it on the sides. Now we can mix it up. And leave the heat at low. And once the onions have started to become golden brown and you can see the garlic and ginger also has uh, started to assimilate and the aroma is filling the kitchen this is when at the low gas we're going to be tossing in the dry spices and those dry spices are chole masala you can get that uh, at uh, any store preferably pick up mdh and pick up punjabi chole masala turmeric powder red chili powder coriander and cumin powder amchur powder which is tanginess and a little bit of salt just dump it all in right on top and we are going light on the red chili because i know i did add green chili to it that goes in and now we stir it up and all these ingredients uh, the dry ingredients also 
they are at your liking if you don't like too spicy of a food don't have to put too much of it i personally can handle my heat you know how i do cooking here and as soon as you start seeing the spices have started to separate or as soon as you start smelling the delicious aroma the amazing aroma now we're going to add in tomatoes tomatoes are going to prevent the burning of the spices from taking place and to speed up the gravy process we're going to be adding about quarter cup of hot water that goes right in and yes our main intention basically at this point is to reduce it down and make it into a pulp some people use a hand blender i personally don't prefer it because it pulverizes everything it's a speedy process i personally put it at low heat and let it go and while the tomatoes might look whole they are going to disintegrate too and tadka is ready and once you're done with the tadka just drop it in the ninja puri pressure cook for 2 minutes that way the tadka or the masala that you got ready can seep in and can get well absorbed by the chanas 